Welcome to your weekly market update. Mortgage bonds continue to hover around support. We're trading in this tight range. What's going to break that out? Um, they will head in one direction or another. I look at probabilities. We have two floors of support. Down is higher mortgage rates. Up is lower mortgage rates. We only have one barrier to break above. We've tested this back here. I think this was August 5th. That's the last time I locked rates. You can see how accurate we've been in following these patterns. Um, the September 19th Fed meeting, if they cut by more than a half a percent or they cut a half a percent and give future indicators that they're going to continue to cut, mortgage rates will get better. If they cut a half and don't say anything about the future, we'll probably stay about the same. If rates get cut a quarter of a percent, um, unless there's some um, talk of much larger cuts in the future, um, mortgage rates will likely get worse. So that would be one thing. Or tomorrow's Bureau of Labor Statistic Jobs Report. Yes, this is the report I've been bashing for the whole year. They came out last month and did an 18 or eight. 818,000 um, job revision for the year. It's such a big number, I can't even say it, which is a manipulation of the data that we all knew that was going on that follow these reports. Um, so what, what will the markets feed into this now that the BLS essentially admitted that they lied? We don't know if they'll have any impact on the markets or if they'll still have a, a big impact. Pack. Tomorrow we'll tell. Um, what you can go off of is the private sector report that just came out showing weakness in the economy. Now, if I'm sounding excited, I apologize. I never want to um, diminish that people are losing their jobs and the economy isn't uh, what it was at the beginning of the year. Uh, this is just proof of that, though. But it is great for our industry. It's great for mortgage rates. People freeze during recessions. Uh, real estate performs great during recessions. 13 out of the last 14 recessions, real estates either went up or stayed relatively the same. Only one did it go down, and that was the recession caused by the real estate industry. So um, yes, we get excited when we see the potential of lower rates because we've been handcuffed uh, and our industry has been cut in half over the last two years um, by higher interest rates. So check it out. This is the ADP report. They were calling for 145,000 jobs created. Uh, only 99,000 were created. Also, July, which already wasn't a great number of 122,000, was revised to 111,000. Small businesses are not gaining jobs, losing jobs. Manufacturing is losing jobs. Professional and service businesses, uh, like mine, are uh, uh, you losing a lot of jobs. Leisure and hospitality still leading the way. Uh, construction still doing really well. Uh, education and health services doing really well. Um, this is a big one. Stairs at job, 4.8%. That's unchanged. Switcher, switchers, 7.3. Um, we saw this number as high as 16% last year, meaning people were attracting businesses were attracting qualified candidates to their um, their company with bonuses, with higher pay. Uh, that's been cut in half this year. So overall weakness in the job market. Yes, that causes mortgage rates to come down. Yes, the Fed has to take this into consideration at their September 19th. Uh, we stand by that we think they will cut a half a percent. I hear a lot of people saying, well, I heard the Fed's going to cut interest rates and I'm waiting until that happens. Rates are going to go down. That's already been priced in. The uh, the traders, the market analysts know it's going to be a half a percent cut. What moves the markets if there's a surprise or something further said about the future? Know if you know about it and definitely if the media knows about it and if they're even accurate in their reporting. If they have any inkling of it, the traders already know about it. Uh, the the hedge funds know about it. Everyone that trades and works in these markets already know if you know it. So it's already been priced in. Remember, every market, stock market, bond market, uh, crypto market is a six to eight month outlook on the future. It's not what's happening right now. Always remember that when you hear this news. Um, I put my money where my mouth is. I told you it's an amazing time to buy properties. I'm under contract on my third property in the last month. Uh, we are negotiating hard. We're getting some credits. I'm driving down prices. That's not going to happen on every property. And these are challenge properties that I'm going to fix up and rent out. But no, um, if I say it, I'm doing it myself. So that's where my personal money's going. That's where my family's um, investing is going right now. 
Uh, if you're out buying a home or you want to buy your first investment property, now until the election is an amazing time to buy. I would um, just encourage you to look at it closely. If we can help in any way, give us a call, DM us, or email us. Thanks for tuning into this market up, weekly market update.